have a few remarks that I want to share with you. Of course, as a word of appreciation on our side as the SFT Secretariat. So as we get closer to the end of this remarkable uh, conference on implementation strategies, I stand before you with a profound sense of gratitude and op optimism. Uh, the past three days have been a testament to the collective commitment and shared vision that unites us in our pursuit of a prosperous and integrated continent, Africa. Our discussions and deliberations have been rich, diverse, and deeply insightful, revealing the depth of ex expertise and dedication within our continent. I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation to each and every one of you for your active participation, thoughtful contributions, and unwavering support for the realization of the African continental free trade area. Today marks not only the end of this conference, but the beginning of a new chapter in the FCFTA journey the practical implementation phase, as you have seen in our discussions. It is here that we will transform aspirations into action, rhetoric into results. The task ahead is significant, and success will depend on our ability to translate words into deeds, strategies into tangible outcomes. To this end, I would like to reiterate that the establishment of the FCFT National Implementation Committees, as I said yesterday, is a crucial step forward in our implementation strategies. These, commit these committees will serve as the linchpin between the FCFT Secretariat and the state parties ensuring effective coordination and communication. National implementation committees will be tasked with the development and oversight of the execution of national action plans aligned with the FCFTA objectives. I urge each state party to expedite the formation of these committees, comprising their various stakeholders from the public and the private sectors, academia, and the civil society. In doing so, we reinforce our commitment to inclusivity and ensure that the benefits of the FCFT are shared equitably across our societies. Furthermore, I'm excited to announce that going forward, this peer learning and experience sharing on FCFT implementation we take place in a formal platform that has been established by the Council of Ministers, which is the committee of the focal persons on the FCFT implementation. This uh, committee will serve as a platform for state parties to share best practices, lessons learned, and innovative approaches to overcome challenges. By fostering collaboration and mutual support, we can accelerate progress and enhance the effectiveness of our collective efforts. As we embark on this new phase, let us not forget the transformative potential of the FCFTA. It is a catalyst for economic growth, job creation, and sustainable development. Our success will not only be measured in trade volumes, but in positive impact on the lives of our citizens. It is now high time for the private sector to take full ownership of the FCFTA. Let us intensify awareness campaigns across the continent and with support of our strategic partners, we will get there. Financing the FCFTA implementation programs is critical to the success that we are all looking for. In closing, I would like to express my gratitude once again for your dedication and commitment. Together, we have the power to shape a future 
where the barriers to trade are dismantled and the African continent stands united in its pursuit for prosperity. Let us move forward with determination, collaboration, and a shared sense of purpose. The journey ahead may be challenging, but with our collective efforts, we will build a stronger, more resilient Africa. Thank you, and may the spirit of unity guide us in the implementation of the FCFTA. Long live the African continental free trade area. Thank you very much. Thank you.